Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Genoa have opted for a 3-5-2 here, Jim. Well, the beauty of this system, Peter, is that you can offer both a back five and a front two, having sufficient strength at either end of the team where you need it. Equally, the wing-backs can supplement the numbers in midfield to make it a five, so I think it affords managers the ultimate flexibility. And I think if I were really pushed on what I'd like most, this would be the, uh, this would be the system. Just joining us, we are already on the way. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Frank Ribéry. He's got brilliant technical ability, and that allows him to dribble his way out of some very tight spaces, creating something out of nothing. And he doesn't try to do it all himself. He's very good at always being aware of the options that are around him and often picking out the right one. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. Now, can he capitalise? Hoists it forward. Radovanovic cuts it out. And it's played forward. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. to locate someone up front. Ribéry. Forward it goes. And he just whacks it away. Beautifully done. Fiorentina have a free kick. And it's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Radovanovic can get it clear. And it's Patel. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Ribéry. Plays it out to the flank. Bonaventura. Nice lifting it over. Oh, good interception. Looks to bypass the midfield. No, that's not the ball he wanted. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back here. Tries to get it forward quickly. Genoa, yet to have a shot on target. Ceres does well there, alert. And 
And it's played forward. Forward pass. Gets into a dangerous position. Pinged forward. Gets it upfield. Hoists it forward. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Bonaventura. Uh, they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here. It's all broken down. It helps available out wide. And it's put a hit one! Decent enough try. Bedell certainly could have and should have made more of that. He's made sure that that won't get through. It's being played forward. Forward it goes. Hoists it high. Karim catches it safely. And it's played forward. Safa Costa. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Big chance! Big relief, it just needed better contact. the end of the first half. And both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. And we are up to the break. Genoa really did turn up the tempo at the end of the half, and while they'll be disappointed not to have broken through, obviously, the chances will come, provided they can keep producing good spells. It's been a half with significantly more positives than negatives, I feel. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. <laughs> so, off we go once more. Genoa clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go back... Radovanovic, with a definite foul there. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. Zappa Costa knocks it away. Tries to get it forward quickly. Away from immediate danger. Zappa Costa. Quick pull forward. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Zappa Costa drives it forward. So who's he picking out? Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Kaya Hon. Destro. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Well, that's where he wants it. <laughs> oh, 
hoists it forward. Well read, he sorted that out. And it's played forward. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and if he's allowed time on the ball, it opens up a wealth of other possibilities. Zeitz. So we've reached the hour mark. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defences, it seems, on top here. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch not to give up hope just yet. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. That's been drilled forward. Forward it goes. Tries to get it forward quickly. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Goes direct to the front line. And he just whacks it away. Bonaventura plays it forward. Fiorentina have it back and they can go again. Hoists it forward. Caceres. Caceres drives it forward. Ribery! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Ribery simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. And back to base. Keeper's got good distance on that. Well played, he saw that coming. And here's Destro. Zeitz. Badel. Badel goes looking. Zafa Costa. Zeitz. He could be in here. Whipped it again. Now catch shapes to shoot! Get that clear. So here comes the substitution. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. And it's Strutman. Zappa Costa puts it into the middle. Genoa merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. It's a loose ball. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Zeitz. Look, their supporters must be going barmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing. Hoists it forward. And that is that. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. Little cutting edge at either end, and it finishes nil-nil. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Listen, the more this game went on, a draw was always likely to be on the card. So, overall, I don't think anyone will be complaining too much about what they've got. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.